Okay, so I got my rods out. I have skipjack on one, I have chicken breast on the other, and then I have some shad on my third rod. There's the big old skipjack. <laughs> I took the headpiece and put on there because they seem to like the headpiece a lot. So now it's just sit and wait and enjoy the time with the Lord out here. So I hope everybody's having a blessed day. And you know, God loves you. Uh, God is always there for you. He wants you to be near Him. He wants to be near you. And Jesus loves you with all His heart. He died on the cross for our sins so that we could have a way to the Father, so we could have a way to heaven. And uh, it's a right way to live, you know. I've lived the secular life. I ran the bars half of my life. Uh, sang in rock bands, did that kind of silly stuff. I guess I was living for the devil without really realizing it until God opened my eyes and then I realized that the whole time I was living for the devil. And But even though I was in the bars living for the devil, the Lord still loved me. He still protected me. Uh, in 2008, I almost lost my right leg. I broke it in three places because I was at the bar drinking and I was really, really drunk. Uh, wound up laying over my bike. When I got to the ER, I passed out. And uh, about three weeks later when I got out of the hospital, a friend of mine that was up there said, you know, when you passed out, I asked the nurse what your blood alcohol level was. And she said, well, let me put it this way. Your friend's blood alcohol level is he should be dead. So the Lord literally saved me. I had a dream while I was in the hospital. It wasn't a dream like go to sleep and dream. I was in my room in the middle of the day. I guess you could say it was probably a, a vision, more of a vision than a dream. And uh, my whole room turned into a prison cell but not a prison cell like from this earth um, it had big white dingy stone castle looking bricks uh, this big concrete cylinder opened up and slid across the door and locked the door and these black vines started coming down the wall towards me and uh, it's, it was God I know it was God telling me that I'm not living right I'm not doing right and I was getting ready to uh, go to a prison cell in hell if I wasn't careful. So he saved me. I didn't lose my right leg. It's full of metal. He literally put the second world's best orthopedic surgeon in my path. And uh, I'm able and blessed to still have my leg and walk and everything. So God's good. God loves us. And I give him glory every day. So just remember that. Okay, so right now, I'm just sitting and waiting. Like I said, I'm out here enjoying my day. I'm going to give it about an hour in this spot. And then I'm going to reel in and just move around. I'm just now getting out on my boat more often and learning the lake. So this is a learning process as well as it is a fishing process show <laughs> it's gonna get better guys i i'm doing this off my phone right now and the main thing is you know i can have all this technology and everything but the main thing is is getting out here and talking about jesus i mean that's what the whole fishing with jesus show is about hopefully as time goes on the quality will get better and of course i hope to catch some mighty big catfish i want to catch spoonbill as well so that's another reason why I had these high dollar multi bars mounted to my boat because I'm going to start trying to troll and snag some spoonbill hopefully. So, okay. Well, I'll check back with you if I get a bite. Thank you. God bless.